Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Walker at Somers Animal Hospital. Today we're going to review taking a blood sample from your diabetic pet. At this point, your veterinarian will have diagnosed your pet with diabetes mellitus, the condition where there's excess blood sugar and you're needing to give insulin to control that. Being able to take a blood sample at home and get the blood sugar value will give your veterinarian the ability to better regulate your pet. So first we will review what you'll need. The basic things are going to be a Tupperware or some sort of container with warm water and a compress. That'll help vasodilate the skin and make it easier to get the sample. A little bit of Vaseline to put on the sample site. Your blood glucose monitor. Your blood glucose strips that go in the monitor. Your lancet and a little bit of gauze to put on after you've taken your blood sample. The way the monitor works is incredibly simple. It's got a little butterfly on it that you want to be able to see. You set it into the monitor, you push it in, and your monitor already comes on. Shows the proper code that your veterinarian will have set for you. And you'll see the flashing strip and dot of blood letting you know you're ready to sample. When you actually have your blood to be sampled, you'll have a little dot of blood on your pet, and it's the edge of the strip that will actually suck the blood in. So if you have a dot of blood, you're just going to touch it gently, and it'll wick the blood right into the instrument and give you a reading. Okay? So now we just need our first patient. So this is Mona, our diabetic cat. We're going to go ahead and get a blood sample. My assistant already has a warm washcloth apply to the ear, which is the best place to take the sample, and that'll just help it bleed a little easier. So we can take that off. 30 seconds is plenty. We'll come over, we get a little Vaseline. That'll help the blood bead up nicely. We're going to go to the edge of the ear and apply this. And there's a little vein along the edge of the ear, and if you just get next to that, you generally get a nice blood sample. So we've got our monitor. We're going to take our blood glucose strip. The two dots are pointing out, and the little butterflies in the center. We push it in, and it comes on. And your veterinarian will have made sure it was calibrated for the proper strip. You take our lancet, break off the tip, and you have your tiny needle. It's nice to take a little piece of gauze when you're doing this. That way you also know you can't go through the ear and poke yourself. I'm going to come on up to my patient. Uh, apply a little pressure on the ear margin and just go ahead and give a little poke. Leave it in there for a second, take it out, and again I just apply a little pressure and you'll see a nice bead of blood forming and it's the edge of the strip that'll take that sample. So that should be plenty and I'm just going to come in right to the black dot at the edge then you can use that same gauze to hold it. And we have a nice reading at 92. That's normal. Your veterinarian may have you do this once or twice daily, or just the occasional blood glucose curve, where you will take a blood sample in the morning at breakfast, give insulin. At that point, your blood sugar is the highest. And then through the day, every two hours, you'll take a sample, seeing the blood sugar come down and start to go back up as it's time for another shot and a meal 12 hours later. This information will enable your veterinarian to have a very good idea of how to adjust insulin and it can be done with your kitty at home, avoiding all the stress that's involved in doing this for 12 hours in the hospital setting. Thank you very much. Feel free to comment or visit us on our website at SomersAnimalHospital.com. Thanks.